This is City Field, which sits next door to the rubble of Shea Stadium and is actually modeled after Ebert's Field, which came down nearly 50 years ago and served as the home of the Brooklyn Dodgers. From the beginning, the Mets' colors have been Brooklyn Dodgers blue and New York Giants orange. But now, a more forceful connection to the past is being made by City Field. Its most distinctive feature, its rotunda, takes its cue from Brooklyn's long-lost ballpark. The rotunda itself honors Jackie Robinson, the Dodger who more than 60 years ago integrated baseball. But why was Fred Wilpon, the owner of the Mets and a Brooklyn native, so intent on paying homage to another time and place? The answer is that he is trying to make the Mets into part of something more profound, something that blends Flushing with Flatbush, Met fans with their Brooklyn ancestors, and sons with fathers. So that when someone asks, how do you get to City Field, the answer will be, through Brooklyn. My own link to Brooklyn is right here on 13th Avenue in Borough Park, where my grandmother in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s lived in this very modest four-story apartment building. It was on April 20th, 1957, a Saturday, that my dad and I walked down these stairs, walked across the street to the subway, and took the train to Ebbets Field for my first Major League game. I remember a little bit about that game. Duke Snyder and Carl Ferrillo hit back-to-back -back home runs, and Johnny Padres pitched a shutout, beating the Pirates 2 to nothing. Of course, the Dodgers and the New York Giants were gone from New York after the 1957 season, off to California. What do you guys think? You want to be journalists? <laughs> Three years after the Dodgers left, Everts Field was unceremoniously demolished. It had been a small, intimate, colorful ballpark with a capacity of only 32,000. Its most famous feature was probably the sign in right field that offered a free suit to any batter that could hit it. In its place came the Ebbets Field Apartments, a big housing project that pays only a faint acknowledgement to what preceded it. A more direct tribute to what came before sits across the street from the apartments. It's the Jackie Robinson Public School. More than 50 years after he retired, Robinson has become a significant figure in American history. So it's no surprise that who he was and what he represents will be prominently featured at City Field. City Field is a huge improvement over Shea Stadium. Where Shea was drab and incomplete, City Field is enclosed and intriguing. Home runs will be caught by fans instead of just disappearing from view. There are pavilions in the outfield for fans to walk and watch and eat. There is a restaurant in left field that will offer two seatings per game, but only for fans with pricier tickets. But it is at the doorstep to City Field that Wilpon's desire to honor Jackie Robinson and the Dodgers meets up with the desire of fans to salute the Mets' own history, as disappointing as much of it has been. In thousands of engraved bricks that fill the walkway leading to the rotunda, fans state their names, declare their allegiance. One brick seems to merge the two sentiments. Ebbets Field to Shea Stadium, Jackie Robinson to David Wright, no greater fans. Fred Wilpon couldn't have said it any better.